Hello everyone, Keddy Wampus Gamer here, bringing you another episode of Minecraft Exoria. Today's episode, we are going to get into power generation. Alright, let's go ahead and look at the quest book. And we are going to do, I made power. So now, let's hope this idea works. Generating electrostatic energy with rubber and carpet should give me a tiny bit of energy. This is my plan. Build an electrostatic generator, surround it with carpet, and walk around it with rubber boots on. It's crazy, I know, but it might work. Interesting. Okay. So, let's see. Electro. And we're going to need two bronze plates, a furnace, rubber, stone, and a block of redstone. So, let's go ahead and get the stone. Is that four stone? Two stone. Oh well, I got extra. Need the redstone block. Alright, build this. Alright, I still have some carpet left from when I was doing the animal pen. And I just made way more than I needed. Alright. And I'm not sure how much this generates. And you know what? I should have finished the quest before I did that. So let's make the boots. Alright. Hopefully... Okay, it's going to catch up. Alright, so it still kept the carpet. Alright, so that's done. Ooh, so we just unlocked this quest and this quest. Ooh, thermal energy. So we can make those. This is good. This is a good thing. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this down. Now I have no idea... Uh, let's see, we gotta put the boots on. I guess that would help. So it just says, just walk around it. This is gonna be a pain. Ooh, 270 RF. That's actually a lot better than I thought. Now my question is, can I just go... Yeah, I can. So why walk around it? Just do that. Wow. Alright. That actually generates a lot more than I thought. That's pretty cool. Now... I have already generated power, and I did not use this. Um, what I actually used, and I'm going to go ahead and show this, and I'm actually going to make more of them because they're pretty good. Alright, so you're going to make some lapis blocks. Alright, and we're going to do that. And then, let's see, what do I need? It's from Magneticraft. And we want the electrical machine blocks. Ooh, I don't have enough lapis blocks. Are you kidding me? I forgot how expensive these things are. All right, so I guess I won't be making one from scratch. All right, so let's go ahead and run upstairs and look at my power generation setup that I have. Now, it was sitting up on a hill, and I took the hill down, but it's still just floating there. These are solar panels from Magneticraft, alright? So what you're going to do is you take paper and quartz. And let's see, can we do it? Yeah, it has to be down here. It's weird the way it is, okay? And then if you right-click on the ground with this, you get this. Then you take those electrical machine blocks that we were making. And you're going to put them down just like we did with the... Uh, what other one did we do like this? Oh yeah, the shelving unit. So you're going to fill in these last two here. You're going to right click on here and it's going to form this. Now there's an output on here. All right, let's go ahead and actually break this. All right, with an electrical connector. You're going to use these electrical connectors from Magneticraft. All right, so you're going to shift right click to put it on and it still has the wire connected. That's actually pretty cool. Now, unlike immersive engineering, where you have to have a roll of wire for each connection. You know, from here to here would be one, from here to here would be one. So you got all this wire you gotta carry around. With Magneticraft, you just have this copper coil and you just shift right click, right click, shift right click, right click, and you connect all these together. Now, the way the power works is really weird and I have no idea how it does work. Right now it says 60.15 volts the more things you add to the network, the higher the voltage goes. Um, these battery blocks are actually how I charge my tools because I stuck 
the upgrades in here, the energy upgrade, tools are chargeable. Now, if you've run it out of power, you can keep using it, but it's gonna start using the durability and you're not gonna be able to see the durability bar. So you have to be really careful. All right, so then what I did was I made these high voltage capacitors from immersive engineering, all right? This is actually how I got my signalium. All right, let's see. Uh, first, you're gonna make the low voltage capacitor, which is four lead plates, four treated wood planks, and a small battery. The small battery is lead plates, sulfur, iron nuggets or ore berries, and a copper nugget or ore berry. All right, you need two of these to make the second one, and you need two of the second one to make the third one. All right, so the second one is gonna take the low voltage capacitors and electrum plates the high voltage one is going to take steel plates and the medium voltage capacitors. Now with these, these are interesting because you can break them up and they're going to keep their power. They are also going to keep their sides. So whether it's, you know, the west side, the east side, the top, the north, the south, or the bottom, it's going to keep those connections. Now, to set these, you're going to need your engineer's hammer and you right click and you can look in the top left hand side input output no connection now if I hold shift you can see it says opposite side no connection so if I right click it now says opposite side input and you can see it has an input alright now that's an output and now there's no connection alright so this allows you to actually set things up a lot easier because you don't have to like you know dig down in order to set the one on the bottom you can just shift and click on the one on the top so that's very very handy I stuck an automation upgrade in here and I think what that does is it automatically puts the princesses and the drones back in because I haven't touched this and it's been running and you can see yeah it's at 90 percent it's getting ready to run out of the queen so that is pretty cool. I'm really liking these, although I do know that I'm going to need quite a bit of power. Once we get to the Misty Dimension, we can craft Invar. All right, and Invar you can use to create the different dynamos and stuff. And we can actually get a dynamo that will turn emeralds into RF. Ow. I didn't have my slime boots on because I had the rubber ones on. So yeah, you could, in theory, let's actually do this. All right, uh, low voltage capacitor. We need the batteries, eight batteries, wow. Okay, throw some of those in here. All right, and good, I have treated wood. And lead plates, wow. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and make one of these and then make another one of these and another one and one more all right now we're gonna need what i say electrum do i have electrum i don't have electrum plates and i don't have enough electrum to make them that's going to be another project all right oh well this will work we'll just take one of these capacitors all right and we're going to put it on top of here and now let's hop up See, it says opposite side, no connection. So if I hop up, shift right click, you can see, there we go, it's input. So now you can see all the RF going out of here into here. So now we can just do this and charge up this capacitor if we wanted to stand here and do that all night. All right, so I did make the melting crucible advanced and I also made one of the electric heaters to go underneath here. So what I did was I charged up one of those high voltage capacitors and just brought it down here, hooked up the melting thing, smelted it down into a metal caster and that's how I made the stuff to get my signalium condenser and frame and I got another frame for my combustion chamber and they work great. I forget how many I get from each one. All right, so actually we can go ahead, we got enough time. So let me empty some stuff out of my inventory. 
all right those are tungsten plates yeah so now we can use tungsten and steel in the kiln and get I forget what it's called but we need that to make the crafting table to make the portal to get to the misty world all right so we're gonna need magma bricks we're gonna need light steel plates actually let's go ahead and just make two of these all right we're also gonna need a cauldron and a silver plate so yeah I've only got enough to make one right now because I don't have another silver plate handy oops rotate no rotate oh I got magma bricks wow I always mix those two up I want inferno bricks there we go and rotate there we go all right uses oh need two more inferno brick all right and uses and craft that so this is how you craft the melting crucible advanced all right if you want to see how fast this thing is i should actually show that all right if we look in here this is the melting temperature right here all right it's actually going to go up to over 2000 degrees so it will start going super super fast i'm excited about this this has made my life so much easier now i'm wanting to output all the metals from my oreberry bushes and the uh, strainers and whatever else and smelt those into tanks and then i can make whatever i need when i need it because the liquid stays liquid you don't have to keep it heated all right, so you can see, and eh, not that fast. Ooh, it's speeding up, and yeah, it's getting faster, and even faster. All right, so what other quests do we have that we can work on? More circuitry. Oh, I wanted to do this one, the moistener and the squeezer. I can now build some more machines that replace manual or semi-manual work, like barrels and crucibles. All right. It says replaces manual work. Well, I got news for you. My uh, barrel over here, all I do is feed loam into the top of it and pump water in and have a filtered hopper down here and it turns it into clay for me and I don't have to power it. So I don't know why you would want to do that unless the RF is disabled, which I have no idea. All right, so I had the stuff to make the machines. What do I need? Bronze? Um, let's see I need the sturdy casings we're gonna need bronze plates I think I threw those in here all right we're gonna need tin and we're gonna need glass all right so let's hit uses for this and ooh, centrifuge carpenter moistener we need copper gears oh that's why I was casting the copper because I needed copper gears all right, so let's go ahead and make the other one. All right, uses, moistener, squeezer, here we go. We can make a squeezer. All right, what else can we make? What's the carpenter take? Because I need a carpenter. Carpenter takes bronze. Oops, I got that. So let's just, uh, what were the other two things? Was it glass? yes aha carpenter and i should have not enough copper gears i really really wanted to get that done actually you know what let's just do this since it smelts so fast can we do this hmm. all right so yeah i am going to set up more of those solar things now one thing you got to remember is that the days are short and the nights are long all right so you're gonna want to have some capacitors so that you can store the power um, I can make kinetic power and it looks like from the quest book that I'm gonna be able to make the thermal energy it's a great type of power because you don't have to worry about whether it's daytime or nighttime you don't have to worry about inputting fuel you know you don't have to worry about any of that and you can actually stagger these like diagonal and you can share the you know lava and water or whatever you're using to power them all right so that'll be a good thing 
All right, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, tell a friend, leave a like, and until next time, this is Caddy Wampus Gamer, signing off.